Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to generate load combinations and specify analysis commands in the STAD Pro Analytical Modeler. In the next series of videos, we are going to show you several different types of analyses that can be performed in STAD Pro Connect Edition, including a linear elastic analysis, a P-delta analysis, and a direct analysis. In this particular video, we are going to be focusing on performing a linear elastic analysis or a first order analysis in STAD Pro. Now the first step in our workflow will be to generate our load combinations. In STAD Pro, we have two different methods for generating your load combinations. You can create a traditional load combination where a set of load results will be combined algebraically to produce a superimposed set of results for post-processing, or you can create repeat load cases. A repeat load case is basically a primary load case that will use combinations of previously defined primary load cases. Now, if you're preparing to perform a linear elastic analysis, you can generate a traditional load combination for that workflow. So let's go ahead and see how that works in STAD Pro. Now for this particular video, I'm going to be using a model that's already been created. All of the geometry, properties, materials, specifications, and supports have already been defined. And this model contains three different types of load. We have dead load, live load, and wind load. When setting up each of these load cases, I was sure to enter the proper loading type. The program will use this information when generating their load combinations. Now at this point, I'm ready to generate my load combinations. To do that, I will select the loading tab in the ribbon toolbar and then click on the automatic combinations icon. Here I'm going to ask the program to generate the load combinations for me. Now in STAD Pro Connect Edition, we do have the ability to manually create load combinations. The workflow, however, that I'm going to be using in this series of videos is using the generating load combination option. Here I will select my load combination code. For today's session, I will be using the ASE 716, and then I need to select the load combination category. You can see that each code has different categories for which we can generate load. For this particular structure, I'm going to be eventually designing it for an LRFD design method, and my live load is typically less than 100 PSF, so I'm going to select this first category. Now at this point, I'm going to generate my loads, and here you can see all of the proposed load combinations that will be created. Once I'm satisfied, let's go ahead and click the Add button and then click Close. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our Load and Definition dialog. Here we can see a blue C adjacent to each of the load combinations. This indicates that this is a traditional load combination, and this type of load combination is only appropriate for a first order analysis as it does not capture second order effects. Now at this point, let's go ahead and create our analysis command. To do that, we will select the analysis tab in the workflow page control area. Now every model within STAD Pro Connect Edition must have an analysis command after all of the load cases and combinations for an analysis to be performed. To create your different analysis commands, we can click on the define commands button within the analysis dialog. In the analysis print commands dialog, you'll be able to see all of the different analysis types that you can perform in STAD Pro Connect Edition. I'll be using this first type for today's session. The perform analysis command is used to perform a first order or linear elastic analysis. Now I'm going to also take a look at the print options. Here I can see all the extra information that I could add to the output file if I wanted. 
If you would like any additional information regarding any of the inputs in this dialog, we can click on the Help button. which will give you more information regarding the dialog that you're presently in. I'm in the Perform Analysis dialog, so here I can see all of that additional information. And again, it's reminding me that this is for a linear elastic analysis. Once I've entered my print option, let's go ahead and click the Add button and then click Close, and I can see the Perform Analysis command has been added to the input file. Now at this point, we would be ready to perform the analysis and review the analysis results. After that process, if you were performing your full design in STAD Pro, you can move on to the design phase of your workflow. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.